At TechSnips, we've got a lot of videos to record, and I want to start using Skedpal to better manage my personal video production workflow. So we work off of Trello boards, and each video that needs recording is represented by a card. So when I drag a card over to approval needed and add myself to it, I want a couple of tasks to automatically be created within Skedpal for me. And we're going to do that using Zapier. So I'll head over to Zapier, and from the top navigation, I'll choose Make a Zap. So we first need to choose a trigger app, and that's going to be Trello. As it's something happening on a Trello board, which is going to trigger this zap running. And there's a number of specific triggers that we can use within Trello, but the one I want is New Activity. Now, I don't currently have my Trello account connected within Zapier, so I need to go ahead and connect an account. And this opens up an authentication window where I can authorize Zapier to use my currently logged in Trello account. Having done that, I can click test and ensure that I get a success back and then go to save and continue. Next, I need to choose exactly what activity I want to trigger the zap. So the activity I want is when a member is added to a card and in a later step, we're going to specify that that member is only me. We now select a specific board. You could make this any board that you're a member of. However, for this demonstration, it'll be my demo TechSnips publishing board. And I could potentially join a card within any list on that board. So I'll leave any list as the selected option here. However, I could specify a specific list if desired. And of course, I could join any card. So I'll leave that as any card as well. I'll click continue and Zapier will go off and get some sample data from Trello, which I can use to do a dry run of my Zap as we run through. So if I look at activity A, I can see myself with username Windows joining a card. So this is a good example of data that I want to use later on. So I'll make sure that activity A is selected and go to continue. And now I need to add another step. So we've configured our trigger and we'll now configure an action. So at the moment, this will fire off whenever any member joins any card on that board. And we need to configure a filter so that we can say only continue if certain conditions are met. And in this case, it's going to be card members username, matching, Windows, that being my username on Trello. So I'll test and continue, and as the sample data included the username Windows, it matches, and we reported back that the zap would have continued on to the next step. But say, for example, if Adam joined a card, it would stop at this point and not continue. So we'll go ahead and continue now. And while we do now technically have a trigger and an action, we need to add yet another step, or else nothing's actually going to happen. So we'll search for another app, and in this case, it'll be Skedpal. And the only action we can take with Skedpal is creating a task, which is exactly what we want, so we'll continue. And again, I don't have my Skedpal account connected, so I'll go to Connect Account. And this time you'll see that it's asking for an API key. So you can either click the link here, or go to the Skedpal website, and after having signed in, go down to Integration, and then Zapier. If you haven't already generated an API key, you can click Create here. You'll get your key and you can copy it. Now, this API key does need to be kept confidential, so I will be revoking this key at the end of this recording. But with that key in hand, we can go back to the Zapier connection window, put in our key and go Yes, Continue. And with that, we'll do another test and ensure we get a success back, which we do, and we'll continue again. So now we can start filling out the template which will be used to create our tasks. So we can put these tasks into a specific project, and for me, this will be casual snips. I can give my task a title, and this first task is going to be prompting me to write a description for the video that I've been assigned. So I'll manually enter the text, write description for, and then I can use the insert a field button to grab information from a previous step. And I'll grab the card name 
so that I can actually see the name of the card and the related video within the task title itself. Now I can start filling out any related notes that I want. So for example, I might want the URL. And I'll choose the short URL so it's easier to read. And I might want to know the due date for the card. You can put as much information you want into that notes field. And you can pull as many fields you want from previous steps through using that insert a field button. So I've put the due date in my notes. And that's the due date for the video itself. But my due date for this task isn't actually related to that due date of the video itself. So I want to get all my descriptions written within two days of picking up a new video. So I can specify that here by writing in two days. So I've specified a due date, which means I'm not going to apply a plan to this task. So for example, a plan is tomorrow, next week, this week, but my due date is going to take precedence here, so I won't worry about that plan. I do treat all of my SNPs as high priority, so I'll set high here. And writing a description for one of these videos takes 15 to 30 minutes, so I'll go for the longer end and write 30 minutes. Now it's possible to apply a URL to the task itself, and while I've already put that in the notes, I'll do that anyway. And if I wanted to apply any tags, I can also include them here. So I'll go continue. And with the sample data, I can then do a send test to SCEDPAL. We can see that our test task was successfully sent, indicated by the green box. Now, I do need another task to be created for each video. So I'll go add a step. And again, I'll choose SCEDPAL. And note, this time I don't actually have to connect my account because it's already connected. But I'll choose test again, just to be sure. And continue on to the next step. So this task is going to be much the same. It's going to go into casual snips. But this time, my task is going to be to actually record the video. And again, I'll choose the name of the card. I'll put in notes. But getting around to recording the videos is going to take a little bit more time than simply writing the description. So my due date, I'll say in one week. So I'd like to get my videos recorded within a week of picking them up. Again, my priority is high. And recording the videos naturally takes a fair amount longer than writing the descriptions. So I'll give myself about 90 minutes per video. Again, I'll specify a URL. And I don't need to apply any tags, so I'll go continue. And we'll once again send a test to SCEDPAL. And we'll finish. So the final step is naming our zap. And I'll keep it descriptive so I remember what this zap actually does. And then finally I'll turn it on. So now I can go ahead and check this out on my dashboard. And I can see that it's turned on and that we're going from Trello to SCEDPAL. So if I open up SCEDPAL now, I can see those two tests actually came through as actual tasks. And if I look, I've got two different due dates, the right description one being earlier than the record one. And if I look at the record task, I can see that it's set an estimated duration of one and a half hours. And I can see the other information that I specified in my notes. So let's see this actually working in the wild. I'll head back to my demo Trello board, move the second video over, and add myself. Note that moving that card isn't necessary for my zap to fire, but it's a habit because that's part of what we do within the TechSnips workflow. Now my zap's going to go off once every five minutes, but I can run it manually by choosing Run from the drop-down next to my task. And I can see the manual run status, that it looked for items, it found one, it created the task. So if I close that and head back to my SCEDPAL app, I can see those two new tasks have shown up for my second video. And I can tell that by Thursday, I'm going to need to write two descriptions. And by November 13th, I'm going to have to have recorded two videos as well. So this will help me keep on top of my personal video production workflow without having made my task creation a task in and of itself. Thanks for watching.